Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create a Windows 10 Repair Bootable USB Recovery Drive for your Windows 10 computer. So depending on your situation, there are different ways in order to create this repair utility. The first one I'd recommend trying if the methods in this tutorial are unable or run it successful for you and you're unable to boot into Windows. I recommend going on to Microsoft's website and downloading the Windows 10 Media Creation Utility which is basically going to create a Windows 10 bootable ISO file. And instead of installing Windows, you're going to go underneath Repair My Computer. And there's different troubleshooting utilities you can boot off of from there. But in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this repair utility in the Windows 10 operating system. So if you wanted to boot into this computer using the utility, then this tutorial will be for you. If you're trying to boot into the same computer you're having these difficulties with, this tutorial I'm going to be walking through is really not for you guys. And like I said, I recommend downloading the Windows 10 Media Creation Utility. And it's pretty straightforward. I have made numerous videos of it in the past. So you're more than welcome to check out my channel on how to do that. And it's basically as so if you were going to install Windows 10 all over again, except you're going to be using the files within the installer to hopefully repair your computer. So just want to put that out there. But in our case, what we're going to do to start off this video is we're going to head over to the Start menu and you want to left click on it one time to open it up. And now you want to type in Control Panel. And the best magic comes up should say Control Panel directly above Desktop App. So you want to left click on that one time to open it up. So underneath the view by area on the right side here, you want to set it to large icons. You could also set it to small icons as well, but I just think large icons are a little bit easier to see. And you want to go and you want to access the recovery area. So double click on that to open up the recovery view. Now you want to select create recovery drive. Creates a recovery drive to troubleshoot your problems when your PC can't start. You want to left click on that one time to open it up. And then you will likely receive a user account control window in which you want to select yes. It should be a verified publisher of course because we haven't downloaded anything. So it should just be yes. No problems. So it says create a recovery drive. Even if your PC can't start, you can still use a recovery drive to reset or troubleshoot prompts. If you back up system files to this drive, you will also be able to use them to reinstall Windows. And you can keep this checked if you want. You don't have to, but if you want to back up system files to recovery drive, you're welcome to. Just keep in mind it's not going to update all the time, especially if you're using a removable media device. So if you're just creating a backup, it's going to restore back to whatever the state of your documents are today, not maybe six months from now when you're having this problem, if your problem is in the future and you're just a forward-thinking individual. So we're going to keep it checked, no real harm in that. And I'm going to select Next. It will take up a little more space in whatever drive you're using, though, so it's a consideration to make. I definitely recommend you don't have any personal files or anything stored on this drive that you're going to be transferring this to because you really want this removable device to be solely for the recovery information. So just keep that in mind. This will take a second, so just be patient. Okay, so it says connect the USB flash drive. Now depending on how much you have on your computer, this number might be a little bit different here. In my case, it only needs to be able to hold about 512 megabytes. And it does know that everything on the drive will be deleted. So I just want to put that out there. You really should be cautious. You want to make sure your drive is clean, the one that you're going to be putting this on. And then your computer should be able to recover off of it. So especially if it's a bootable USB flash drive, it's probably ideal. So I'm just going to put that out there. But you want to select next once you've plugged it in. And it's a very automated process from there. So you want to give that a try. If that does not work for you and you're not getting the results you want, you can always go into settings and try resetting your computer. So you see this hyperlink right here. If you're having problems with your PC, go to settings and try resetting it. So if you left click on that, you open up the settings window. 
and you can always try resetting your PC which I would recommend as like a last resort but it will help you reinstall Windows and you should be able to keep some personal files and documents you just would have to read along with the prompts and make sure you're selecting the correct options when you are resetting your computer but I do have this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial goodbye